Is Zanga making a bit of a loser's run? Like this whole through this whole bracket. Ollie yeah, Forsberg. I believe this going. is actually a run back. I want to say this is a run back, actually. Yeah, this is a run back. This is a run back that Francis won last time. Yeah, yeah. They're, Francis they're still won on a different stage. I don't even think they played on this stage last set. So maybe Angag like has found a new game plan, you know, talked with a coach or something, or did, some, did a little VOD review, who knows, like start looked at the notes. Yeah, maybe went back went back at the set and was like, I, I know what needs to be done here. Oh man, Angag's definitely playing a little different. Movement, whoa! Okay, Francis not going into the smoke. Engek is slipping and sliding all over the place. What's what's he looking for? You know, how's he gonna find this kill? Ooh, great That's texture really game there to cover that option. Ooh. Up tilt is an interrupt, it's so bizarre. But like it works. Cause it, it like it has an old oh, oh my, if that worked, I would have lost my <laughs> That's mind. That's crazy, that was perfect. That was actually like just the perfect timing. It was just like frames off. Yeah. Oh, great slide in down tilt there. That that's like another thing too. Like you slide in with the new Ollie down B like so well. Like you get so much more range to like poke with like up tilt, down tilt, and up tilt. Yeah, it's 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 definitely really good, but against Forsman, it almost feels like an inferior version because he can just do baby dash like down tilt. Also, he can do raid really dash down to yeah. And even though Olympia's hitboxes are stupid, Forsburn kinda has a sword a little bit. Like some some people would call it a sword. The dagger, sword, uh, butter knife. Yeah, you, you know it depends on what game you play. If you play TF2, it's probably a butter knife. Yeah. Uh, but also Olympia's uh, side Whoa. B up B. Living. Whoa, Good I DI. Was... Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Francis gets it. You know, Francis gets there. Francis DIs. Francis T is Francis is also off stage right now, which is a little unfortunate. Lead. I don't know why he popped the crystal instead of killing, but it's okay. You know, still in the lead. That's what matters. Those focus attack, dance schedule, up tilt are getting a surprising amount of mileage. 177 and still alive. Never mind. I've I said I, I, I willed it into commentators existence. curse, guys. It's commentators curse, everyone. I willed it into existence. Top but still, commentators yeah. curse moments. Yeah. Francis, wait, top 10 Francis combos? Francis makes one. Oh my god, 67 like right now. Oh, what? Great oh. down smash. Oh, the up tilt stopping it right in his face. Yeah, that's not a zero down, so it's not right anymore. Yeah. Oh my! No, oh, that sucks. That, that, I mean, hey, if you're Francis, you're like, alright, 5%, yeah, this is doable. Very doable. If, you're, um, if I'm Francis, I'm like, I took 5%, pathetic. Should have better. <laughs> Should have should have gotten the zero to death. <laughs> I that failed you, Sansa. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's what I'm looking like. at K Kings oh, all down right now. Oh, uh, it drifted a little too far in. Super clone. Even has been activated, but the new the new buff super clone is my favorite move in the game now because it can take eight percent. You can take eight percent from all projectiles, which is huge. At least as far as like the zoning game goes. But like, yeah. if you're just hitting the clone, then it doesn't matter. It just forces your opponent to be a little more aggressive in dealing with it. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It, it can take eight percent from projectiles, which means uh, Olympia does not care about it. <laughs> Olympia disregards. Olympia isn't really using her projectile aggressively, which is the main thing. Oh, here we go. I was expecting a down smash, but it's not like Olympia would have died anyways because Engage has been behind correctly. Yeah. I feel like these two probably play a good deal as well because we're seeing some reads that are just like on a on a level of like, all right, I know what you're gonna do before you do it. Yeah, I mean, is it could be that, or it could just be that they've already played one best of five already. They they've adapted this quickly, which would be maybe pretty... that that is also very true. They did also play a best five earlier. Did you? That's very... Oh, here we go. Up time. No, oh, no! the ledge cancel though. He hits those edge cancels. He's an edge cancel. Oh man, but the down tilt back is gonna clean it yeah, he's up. Also That's also uh, it's a little unfortunate for the uh, situation there. At 150, like, that's such a tough move to DI. It's so rough. But, if you're Francis, you're feeling good, you clutched it up. Now we're going to see Engex kind of pick to Diamond Grove. I love Creatures of Aether. Ew. I love Creatures of Aether. What's your favorite creature of Aether? Uh, did you know that Absa is in Creatures of Aether, so I could technically say Absa? You're such a big fan of Creatures of Aether, name five carrot. Name your top five creatures. Hmm, let's see here. You've For got me? Absa. Yeah, go, yeah. go, 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 go,
My favorite creature oh. gotta be that that creature. The creature, <laughs> you know the creature. <laughs> The, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You can see the back. It's the creature. And now you're about to get killed, maybe? Oh, no. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, no, th this is a this is a bit TM. Oh, God. Okay, find All right, that, Yeah, that is going to be the first Darius time. Darius put the DI in the game. <laughs> like, Actually, like, everyone knows, there, there are a lot of moves. Everyone knows that the DIing in is the wrong way, but it's like you can't do anything else because you're like, I'm going to die if I don't DI in. Yeah, exactly. It, it's just a it's just a scary move in general to DI. It's 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 intimidating. I would know. That move just kills you. I don't I don't care what anyone says. That move just kills you. I mean, it's in purple, so that's logically it true. It is. Oh, here we go. Angex time. Oh, never mind. Not hitting into the crystal field. This time, maybe. What? Is, just getting reads. Reads on reads. Yeah, absolutely. Well, what, again, like we're we're in a similar spot compared to game one, but right now, actually, a lot more favorable for Engag. But it actually just feels like Engag steamrolling right now. Like it's not yeah. even like the combos are crazy. It's just like I read you, and then I read you, and then I went neutral, and then I read you. Yeah, I, I figured Engag is a big fan of books. Yeah, he's he's a he's a little bookworm. He's 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 an enthusiast. Reading he likes fixed. reading. Oh, I like that upgrade to clear the smoke. All right, good dash attack. Oh, wanted to get something cheeky there. Man, he even had the awareness to like do it. <gasps> oh, wow, wow, wow. Just waited because he knew that the crystal would cover all the other tech options for him. Just waited there for that up smash. So good. Dude, I don't know if I don't know if Engak has ADHD or something, but if it seems like the Adderall is kicking in right now, I don't know what's going <laughs> on. Or something. I like mean, some, something activated. He hot activated chocolate. Something. <laughs> hot yeah. chocolate. He went and got a cup of coffee. He got a cup of yeah. coffee. He's like, ooh, yeah, no, that's the good caffeine. I right, gained three. Tower of Heaven. Sorry. Every now and again, when I see uh, when I see the first button light up, like when they're, when they're about to hit start game, I'm like, ah, yeah, production wants to keep the ball rolling. I'm like, yeah, fair. <laughs> fair. Honestly. Honestly, fair. Okay. <laughs> well, that, that's a flex. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Just, honestly. That was a thing that happened. Every now and again, you just like, like that. That's one of those things. Like you just call it out. I feel like, I feel like Francis got a little nervous and was like, "Oh God, something's happening in this corner." And was no, just but like after it worked, he was like, "Yeah, I meant to do that." I <laughs> I'm a genius. That. I'm a genius. I predicted the yeah. uh, parry. Exactly. Man. Yeah, like it's like whenever like Craig just like jumps in front of you and they just stand there and then they throw the rock and you parry the rock back in their face. You're like. Fuck yeah. yeah, I knew get it. that I rock know. out of here. Get the fuck out. Yeah, get Whoa. the fuck out of here with that rock. Get the fuck Whoa. out. Whoa. Yeah, I know. Oh, this is intense. Oh god, I thought that until I was gonna kill for a second. I was gonna lose my mind. Oh my! Oh my! Called the roll in again. Dude. Just and guy just stares this guy in the face and he's like, roll in right now. And then and then the other guy says yes. He got sir. back to stage. You know, he's like yes sir. He said, now you he will says, roll I, I, Captain. Like, I. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain, I will roll in for you. <laughs> oh, that back is oh, going to get go. parried. That's going to do it, yeah. Actually, getting it parried probably because of the extended hitbox from the clone getting hit. So, and, you know, like, we're, those moments like that, you know, we, we take those. Oh, big edge guard. Oh, it doesn't extend the dash attack. only shortens it. Yep. It's a bit of no, a yeah, Francis is still rolling in too, so I'm wondering if we're going to see more punishes like that uh, as this ever progresses. Just like harder punishes for it. Yeah, it's like Engax really only doing one or two piece combos, but so I get, like half the time they're not even combos, but still just gets reads consistently enough for it to not matter at all, and that's definitely going to kill. Oh my god, I honestly, like if you, if you said that's going to purple, I was like, eh, maybe? Man, you but, see, like, come on. That's true, you're so you know, right. The Olympia that we've been watching right now, you know the Gak attack cannot be stopped. <laughs> the right Gak attack, I love that, that's crazy. Oh my god, I know Ford from back here can also not be stopped. That move is a That moves obscene. That's what, I mean like, even though this is all going the Gak way right now, um, Francis, I mean we've definitely seen Francis like, oh I got a hit, now I'm gonna do the Ford from an edge guard and you will die. And I'm also, I'm, I'm Cake Assault Jr. Just a little bit of Cake Assault in there. A little cakes on those jeans and that cake. Yeah, a little seasoning. Yeah. Oh! No! Oh, caught the air dodge out there! Woo! Golly. Lou, is, was that it?
Was that the uh, set? No, that wasn't the set, was it? I'm like, no, that's 2 1, right? Yeah, it's 2 1. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's 2 1. Like, it's hard to even like... remember how, like, it's hard to even remember game one at this point because of how crazy uh, Angax has been going. Yeah, Angax kind of stepped it up a lot more and said, no, this run back is mine. This run back is 100% mine. You, you get out of here. That's crazy I'm too. I was, grand finals versus the F, so. I was convinced Francis was gonna make it back to grands without a problem. You know what's really funny? Uh, what's funny? This is uh, an inverse order of the top three at Heat Wave. <laughs> Just kidding. That is that's awesome. <laughs> This, 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 it's Ollie Four's Absa just in back yeah. in the other direction. Absa's in grand finals, and Ollie and Fours are fighting instead. And who was the Absa? Who was the Absa? Tell us who it was. Uh. It's gotta be Johnny, right? He was EB's. Yeah, oh yeah, true, it was Johnny! Right, it was Johnny. Yeah, it was, it was so Johnny. true, it was Johnny. My bad, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, no, shout out to Johnny, I love that guy. Um. Uh, also, but yeah, Grace, no, this is this is the last time. Really, one, really strong, it. and actually maintaining. Kind of, it seems like he's gonna take the stock first, maybe. He's he's has stage control. Oh yeah. Oh wait, no. Trips is good. Oh, for, uh, forcing it up all the way in that corner over there. And I say forcing it up because like you can't even see the smoke over there. You can't. Oh, I thought you were saying because he's like fours burn, so he's like forcing it. No, no, I'm just like he's just up there in the corner in the smoke. I'm like, how yeah. does how does anyone know what's going on over there? I don't. All the commentary that I want to do that's is hitting me in a that's singular That's why you're not in Grand Finals of Rivals Recess Invitational number... True! That's why I'm commentating it. Leave it to the players to, yeah, to I, make I, the big brain decision. Yeah, yeah that's they, just like that, yeah. Okay, Francis Francis, kind of taking the reins back slowly. He's, uh, he's fighting back. He's having his rocky moment. He's getting there. He's getting there with it. But, again, like, Olympia's... Got some pretty scary damage output too, and some scary buns to really try and contest in the air. Surprisingly, like solid aerial buttons for a uh, more traditional like Shoto inspired character. Yeah, I mean it's like if you want to talk about the Shoto comparisons, I feel like Olympia plays a really strong like sweep range. That's a little fighting game reference for for you fighting game players. Where, yeah, the... oh my, oh, oh. that and you know the the messed up part is that if that's sour, that still was going to Galaxy. Anyway, yeah, I do, I do agree. Like, they, they definitely play like the sweeper kind of range. Like, yeah, and like her, you expect a lot of kicks and a lot of like. What is on there? Like, it, she, she's so good at that exact range because her hitbox is so hard to contest. Yeah, exactly, and they're disjointed enough to where like some moves will just either will trade, and in some cases that's pretty solid for Olympia. Like, you're not really upset about. Yeah, the you trade. can take the trade a lot of the yeah. time. Yeah, your weight's heavy enough to where like you can just survive some of those interactions, or at the very least, like uh, take a trade and come out on top. But speaking of her weight, how's Francis gonna find this kill? I guess just like that. Okay, I was gonna say it's like I was really is, hoping uh, that I was trying to share because it looked for a second. I'm like, please tell me that doesn't win. I would be so sad. I know whenever <laughs> whenever I see a force doing us match right next to someone, I'm like, that's not gonna work. Yeah, it's a 50-50, You know, I tell like if you believe in us smash, it will work. That, that's why it's just a gamble. Oh my god. Ooh. Uh, I if, thought that if, was gonna go. I'll, I'm gonna I'll, be I'll real go. though. If Francis turned around and went for the, oh, getting it. Oh, back he out. fought. He teched it. He okay. teched it. And that saved his. That saved his game. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, bacon. I don't think he do a lot of. Uh, he doesn't do a lot of turnaround down air, which you know sets up the spike situations, and that that can lead to kills a lot more consistently or better edge guards. Is he gonna live? No. No, he holds out there. Oh, in a critical you moment hold it, again. You hold yeah, out. You hold out. You hold and die. The solution: no di drift in, but. That doesn't That's matter because Angak is going to take it with 3-1 over Francis, stopping the Absol Force run back. This isn't Cake Penguin Grand Finals. This is, uh, the Penguin's not even here. This is 